Hello and welcome to the Attention Deficit review of a new game called Expeditions Conquistador by an indie company called Logic Artists. This is one of the more original strategy games of 2013 in that it, it's a mixture between a map exploration game similar to Heroes of Might and Magic where you basically walk around the map collecting various treasures and secrets while fighting things along the way and also a very well made turn based tactical strategy game Kind of similar to uh, fantasy, Final Fantasy Tactics back from the days. It also adds a whole new level of complexity by introducing various roleplay and game aspects, such as levels, equipment, uh, detailed characters with various personalities and storylines. One of the more unique aspects of this game, however, is its uh, random events approach, where while you're exploring, you'll have to deal with anything between losing a character to uh, quicksands or various attacks or even just looting a native village because you're low on food and medicine. The storyline is also quite interesting. Basically you're an early 16th century Spanish explorer who just arrived to Hispaniola, which is I, I believe it's Cuba, in order to conquer a new land for the Spanish crown. Things go sour for you however because you're forced to complete various quests and missions for the governor as your character at or characters advance in the levels and you discover new secrets and treasures on the island. The game is anything but easy however, and you should expect to make tons of important decisions throughout your playthrough. Uh, usually things go from bad to worse in no time and I think I, I was only able to survive for about a few hours before something really bad happened to my characters. For example, during one of my games, two of my key soldiers got progressively more ill and I only had enough medicine to cure one of them so I had to make a choice between two really strong characters and one of them obviously died. The graphics in this game are simple and well, not too exciting actually. One thing that really bugged me however were the trees that always got in the way when exploring the main map. Sometimes I couldn't even see what I was, where I was or what I was trying to pick up because it just the trees were always blocking the view. I think it would be really good to have some sort of option to make the trees more transparent or just disappear altogether because they're just annoying. Uh, the sound effects and music are pretty good. Uh, there's no voiceover, however, so other than that, it's okay. The soundtrack gets annoying after a while, but that's that's true for any game. Uh, the gameplay, however, is where this game is absolutely incredible. It's very original, it's loads of fun, it makes you feel like you're playing a 16th century survivor game rather than a 3D strategy. And the storyline is very interesting. Uh, the characters are diverse, they grow on you as you progress through the game. And the tactical strategy part is quite complex and difficult while being quite entertaining at the same time. Overall, I think I'll give this game, this game 8 out of 10. Uh, great gameplay, awesome story, but graphics and music could be a little bit better. Thank you for watching.